Welcome back to Adventist Angels Watchman Radio. Jesus might have retained the glory of heaven, but he chose to say, step down from the throne of the universe that he might bring life to the perishing. Near 2,000 years ago, a voice was heard in heaven, A body has thou prepared me. Lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 5 to 7. Christ was about to visit our world, to become incarnate, and he appeared with the glory that he wo was his before the world was. He could not have enjoyed the light of his, we could not have enjoyed the light of his, which he had before the world was. He could not have enjoyed the light of his presence, that we might behold it and not be destroyed. His role was shrouded. His divinity veiled with humanity. This great purpose had been shadowed forth in types and symbols. The burning bush in which Christ appeared to Moses revealed God. The long slab that seemingly had no attraction enshrined the infinite. God shrouded his role that Moses could look upon it and live. So, in the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, God's role was veiled that finite men might behold it. So Christ was to come in the likeness of men. He was the incarnate God. But his role was veiled that he might draw near to sorrowful, tempted men. Through Israel's weary wandering in the desert, the symbol of God's presence, that it was the sanctuary, was with them. You can check in Exodus chapter 25 verses 8. So Christ pitched pitched his tent by the side of the tents of men, that he might make us familiar with his divine character and life. In John chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible says, The word became flesh and tabernacled among us, and we beheld his glory, glory of the, of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and the truth. Since Jesus came to dwell with us, every son and daughter of Adam may understand that our Creator is the friend of sinners. In every divine attraction, in the Savior's life on the earth, we see God with us. Satan represents God's law of love as a law of selfishness. He declares it is impossible for us to obey its precepts. The follower of first parents he charges upon the Creator, leading men to look upon God as the author of sin, suffering and death. Jesus was to unveil this deception. As one of us, he was to give an example of obedience. For this, he took upon himself our nature and passed it through our experiences. In the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 17, the Bible says, for this, he took upon himself our nature and passed through our experiences. In order things uh, things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. If we had to bear anything which Jesus did not endure, then on this point Satan would represent the power of God as insufficient for us. Therefore, Jesus was in all points tempted like as we are. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15. He endured every trial to which we are subject, and he exercised it in his own behalf, no power, no not freely offered us. As man, he met temptation and overcame in the strength given him from God. He made plain the character of God's law, and his life testified that it is possible for us also to obey the law of God. By his humanity, Christ touched humanity. By his divinity, he lays all on the throne of God. As son of man, he gave us the example of obedience. As son of God, he gave us the power to obey. To us, he says, All our power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Matthew chapter 28 verses 18. God with us is the surety of our deliverance from sin. The assurance of power to obey the law of heaven. Christ revealed a character, the opposite of that of Satan. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death on the cross. Philippians chapter 2 verses 8 Christ took the form of a servant and offered sacrifice, himself the priest, himself the victim. He was priestly 
bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 5 Treated as we deserve Christ was treated as we deserve, that we might be treated as he deserves. He was condemned for our sins, in which he had no share, that he might be justified by his righteousness, in which he had no share. He suffered the death which was ours, that we might receive the life which was his. With his stripes we are ill. Isaiah 53 verses 5 It was certain his purpose to bring eternal separation between God and man. But in taking our nature, the Savior bound himself to humanity by a tie that is never to be broken. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, John chapter 3 verse 16. He gave him not only to die as a sacrifice, he gave him to become separate from us. He's not ashamed to call us brethren. Hebrews chapter 7 verses 26. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 11. Heaven is enshrined in humanity, and humanity is enfolded in the bosom of infinite love. The exaltation of the redeemed will be an eternal testimony to God's mercy. In the ages to come, He will show the exceeding, exceeding riches of His grace in His kindness towards us through Jesus Christ, in order that the manifest wisdom of God might be made known to the principalities and the powers in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 7, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10. Through Christ's work, the government of God stands justified. The omnipotent one is made known as the God of love. Satan's charges are refuted and his character unveiled. Sin can never again enter the universe. Through eternal ages, all are secure from apostasy. By love is self-sacrifice, art and heaven are born to the Creator in the bonds of any dissolvable union. Where sin abounded, God's grace was more abounding. The earth, the very field Satan claims as is, will be honored above all other worlds in the universe. Here, where the King of Glory lived and suffered and died, here the tabernacle of God shall be with men, and God himself shall be with them. And the there, God. Revelation chapter 21, verses 3. Through endless ages, the redeemed will praise him for his unspeakable gift. Emmanuel, God with us. Thank you for joining us at this moment. My name is Evangelist King Osiemo from the Horn of Africa. Stay tuned. Find us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on uh, YouTube. God bless you. Peace be with you. Get ready. Get ready. For behold, the creator of the universe, Jesus Christ, is coming very soon. Are you ready?